After a few thruster rockets fire for a little over six minutes, a spacecraft called Rosetta will become the first ever to rendezvous with a comet. This burn will tip Rosetta into the first leg of a series of parts about the comet. Each leg will be about 100 kilometers long, and it will take three to four days to complete. As Rosetta edges closer, scientists at the European Space Agency expect to receive the first of many images offering a close-up view of the surface of the comet, known as 67P. Rosetta will also dispatch a probe to its surface and be the first spacecraft to follow a comet around the Sun. Rosetta is not much more than a big black box, but it's bristling with scientific instruments. There are devices that will study the comet's dust, take high-resolution images of its nucleus, and study its materials and composition. Well, the measurements we are making now, and we will be making starting soon, will be the first of their kind. And that's why I would uh, characterize them as groundbreaking, perhaps is a better word, but when you make measurements for the very first time, you're going to learn a lot, and uh, it's going to be the basis for new studies. Comets are primitive visitors from the outer reaches of the solar system. They carry vital clues about how our solar system was created and how it evolved. So scientists are salivating at the opportunity to get to know the comet firsthand.